Hello, Instagram Live. Welcome to Refashioned Art. I'm in my Refashioned Art makeshift studio today. I just want to give some updates, share a few new pieces, some work in progress. Oh, I don't have it all here, actually. Whoops. I'll show you what I got right here. I've got stuff all over the house, but I'll show you what I got right here. Hey, Judith, how are you? Active, intimate, happy new year. It's so good to see you guys. So um, I've been, first of all, Merry Christmas to anyone out there who's celebrating Christmas. I uh, hope you had a really beautiful and restful holiday. I sure did. Uh, so that was just what the doctor ordered. It was actually probably the best Christmas I've had, um, to be quite honest. Um, we actually got snowed in yesterday, so that was, um, we knew that was a possibility here. Uh, in the mountains, you know, it happens, but it did. <laughs> it did. So that's been very interesting, um, being here, having dogs, um, just the gear, all that stuff. Um, but a fun diversion from desert life that we normally enjoy. So I've also been working my butt off here, guys, working on all kinds of little um, art pieces and projects and just, you know, playing and trying just to play and to explore my creativity and just see where that leads. Maybe try out some new, um, some new, you know, types of work, maybe like a little pivot of sorts. I don't know. Um, although I did, I did expand upon a series that I had started, my open hearted series. And so I actually posted this in my feed. This piece is for sale. Um, oh, it's back here. Sorry. <laughs> you can't see it. But you know what? I'm going to give you a picture right now. Um, it's 26.5 inches by 26.5 inches. It is a perfect square, which is really, really cool. It's a nice thick frame as well. And I know I have a picture here somewhere. And of course, just because I need it, it's not popping up. Well, it's in my feed. I just posted it. It is officially for sale. Yeah, it's not here. That's so strange. It's so strange. I just had it. I'm sorry, guys. So I made two more minis. Okay, here's one of the minis that I just made. So I have a 9 by 12 and an 11 by 14. Here's another one right here. And so they're just, you know, abstract port, uh, abstract hearts. Everything, as you all know, everything I do is abstract. There's the other one. I should probably get a photo that's not quite so close up because it, it doesn't really look so much like it, but actually, I'm gonna show you them right here. So here is the 11 by 14, pretty cool. And I love this, this canvas. It's got some really good depth. So this is the 11 by 14. Let me know guys if you want it. These are for sale. This is the nine by 12. How cute. The lighting is not ideal. I have a skylight up here. So love my skylights, but it creates weird shadows. And so this is your standard, standard depth canvas. And this is the nine by 12, but super fun. Super fun, and you guys know I'm always painting on everything. This is a piece of styrofoam that just came from uh, a package, but I actually really like this. I'm thinking about maybe putting it in a frame, but it's just a piece of styrofoam. But I love painting on everything and anything I can. Something really fun that I did that I am actually hanging in my home. This one here, guys, this is, I'm not even sure of the dimensions, I didn't even take it because it's not for sale. I'm gonna put it on my website just so you guys can see. I have done a number of these. This is part of the Refashion Resculpt series, and I've been sharing tons of those. Um, one of them is on exhibit right now, the original white that I did, and then the second one I did has already sold, and I did share a photo of that. It may still be in my stories, but um, this one here is a great big one. Super, um, Thick depth, love, love, love. So that was white out too, and that one has sold, and that is in my client's home, which love it against that bold orange wall. So those have really um, caught on, which I'm so happy about because they are a ton of fun to make. And the Refresh and Resculpt series, guys, these are three-dimensional. So I'll just show you, um, and most of them are about six inches 
thick, so it can be challenging and costly to ship. I don't love that about it, but you know, that's the nature of the beast of uh, shipping art. So this is, these are 3D, again, sculptural, and you know, one of the things, not only are these a ton of fun to make, because I mean, don't they just look so fun, but I am using unrecyclable materials to make this. All of this here, these um, ruffles that look like big, thick ribbons, those are unrecyclable plastics. And so, you know, what do you do with it if you can't recycle it? You just throw it away. And what's going to happen to it? It's just going to, uh, well, nothing's going to happen to it. It's just going to sit there. And unfortunately, it will never decompose because this is all, um, you know, plastics basically originate from petroleum. So it's really kind of icky and it's uh, too bad that there's not something else we could do with them. But um, it just kind of ate away at me for a while and shopping, um, you know, getting packages and stuff delivered, especially more and more this last year or two, wherever, uh, you know what I'm talking about, um, getting more and more packages delivered to my home. You know, this type of stuff, this is packing material that comes in a lot of packages, appliances. You know, it just started um, piling up in my garage. And I'm one of those weirdos that doesn't just throw everything away if it can't get recycled. I kind of put it aside. And of course, I'm always thinking, how can I incorporate it into some art? How can I, you know, create some type of treasure out of some other type of trash? It really is my thing. And it is the basis of refashion art, more style, less waste. And so this here for me really is the epitome of that because this is what I consider more style, and it's creating less waste. It's reducing the waste that's going into landfill. And that's why I love doing the Refashion Resculpt series. I just did, um, I have three going to Las Vegas next week, which I'm super excited about, and those ones are all gold. I did post some photos of those. I don't know if I posted the finished product, but after they're delivered, um, and I get clearance from the client since they were commissions that I will uh, share completed photos. So just wanted to share guys some of these things I've been working on. This one here is a work in progress. Um, I know we can't see the whole thing. This is not done. This is super long. I just love this one. Super long and skinny. And so I'm going to be adding some text and just some edginess to this. But it's, I'm thinking it's probably going to stay black and white because you know I'm obsessed with black and white palettes. This one here also, guys, this is a great big square. I think this one here is 36 by 36 inch square. It's actually got a beautiful frame that I taped off. Can't really see that, but the frame is taped off to protect it. Ebony, babe, yes, 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 yes. I know you're on it. Effortlessly, Ebony, that's your business. You are essentially creating more style and less waste as well. So. There you go, so on brand, right? So this one here, guys, I love the black and white and I was working on this to go in our home and my husband is over the black and white. <laughs> He's just done with it. Uh, <laughs> he did approve of the heart, which is hiding back here, the big heart. He did approve of that because it's color. So I don't know, he wants me to add some color to this. I really don't wanna add color. I love the black and white. I thought I was just gonna like keep you know, layering and layering and layering and working, 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 finessing and scratching this one up, but he wants color. So I don't know. I've got some yellow. I've got more red paint. I've got some blue, but what I really want to use is more black, <laughs> but he wants color. So, oh, last thing I want to share guys, that's pretty much it that I'm going to show. I do have a few more large pieces that are in process. Uh, they're in the other room, so I'm not going to go and lug them over. I think that's all I'm going to show, though, for now. But uh, we'll be adding some new things to the website soon. And last but not least, uh, one of the important things I wanted to come on and share with you is that I, are, I am doing a uh, New Year's clear sale, clearing out some of my inventory. The link is in the bio. It's shop.iamlurman.com forward slash, what is it? new year sale <laughs> the link is in the bio though so just head to that link in bio um i've got i don't even know maybe like 50 pieces guys they're all right there on the web page you can purchase online check out it's all you know uh shoppable here's how it works if you buy two or more 
50% off your entire order. These pieces are already discounted, but buy two or more, 50% off your entire order. Free local pickup if you're not local. $10 flat rate shipping, guys. That is awesome. No matter how many pieces you purchase, no matter how large, no matter how heavy, I am only charging $10 flat rate shipping, so I'm needing the shipping just to make it easier on everyone. But guys, really, really, really want to encourage you. If you are, you know, if you've been eyeing some of my pieces, jump on this because I was doing a little 50% off sale uh, just around Thanksgiving. And this is probably the last time I'll do anything like this for a while, but I do want to move some of these pieces. So I'm excited to do that. But guys, this is the chance. Shop that link in bio. Again, you can check every check out right there online. And um, what else do I have to tell you? I think that's it. I think that's it. Any questions, let me know. And of course, um, if you need additional photos of any of the pieces, if you want a video uh, front side back, if you want to see the depth of it, if you want to see how it hangs, you know, how it's wired, um, just shoot me a DM or you can email me if you're on my email list and I will send you those extra pictures. So I know it, it can be challenging to pick out art from a web screen. I don't really do it that often. I like to see things at least on a video or like a live video so you can get the depth, you can get how the light reflects on it. Um, but especially guys, I can send you those photos of different angles so you can really get the essence of the piece. So that's it guys. Oh, and the sale is going to end on December 31st. So that is, um, God, Friday? We got two days. So that's gonna kind of cut off at, um, or not kind of, it will cut off midnight central standard time. That's just how my um, software works. So it's programmed that will <laughs> cut off midnight central standard time on December 31st. So guys, jump on it. Again, link is in the bio. If you wanna get further updates, get on my email list. Link is also in the bio. If you just click on that link, it's gonna give you a whole, it's like a link tree setup. So it's gonna give you a whole bunch of websites and the very first one is shopping uh, the new year clear seal the next one is shopping originals and then after that is getting on my email list so everything is right there um i hope you guys are having a fabulous holiday season i hope you're resting um for me that's kind of like paramount <laughs> to the holiday season is just like my recharge because this you know this last my Q4 is always like push time. It's always crunch time for selling art. And so by the time the holidays run around, roll, roll around, I'm kind of fried. <laughs> so it's like resting and recharging is most important. But even if it wasn't uh, due to the nature of this business, I just feel like that's my natural bi biology. Like this time of year, I want to get clear on what I want to create. I want to get clear on what the next chapter is going to be. And then I want to get manifesting it. I want to really just map it out in my mind. And of course, nothing ever goes as planned. But if you see it, you know, if you believe it, if you just start setting that ball in motion, I know those things are going to happen. So happy new year, guys. Hope you are just doing fabulous. And, uh, you know, it's just part of my mission. Get as much style and beauty into as many people's homes and lives as I possibly can. So I hope you'll take me up on that offer. Um, DM me any questions and, um, yeah, hope you're staying warm. I'm sure not. <laughs> I'm sure not. We'll be getting more snow tonight, which I'm not super psyched about, but Hey, Hey, tis the season, right? All right, guys. Cheers. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.